just like new amino glycoside recently we have formed three new tetracyclines which have been approved in this year so these new tetracyclines which are approved the first one of them is omada cycline just like tetracyclines the name will end with the cycline it is omada cycline and this is approved for pneumonia community acquired pneumonia and acute skin and skin structure infections omada cycline is approved for community acquired pneumonia and skin and skin structure infections the special point about this tetracycline is it is uh, many tetracyclines can become uh, the resistance developed to many tetracyclines because of either efflux pumps or because of ribosomal protection so resistance can develop due to efflux pumps or ribosomal protection and this uh, am I, and this tetracycline is resistant to these two mechanisms that means these two mechanisms cannot cause a resistance to amada cycline means the organisms which are resistant to other tetracyclines because of these two methods they will be sensitive to omega cycline okay. the another tetracycline is sare cycline it is approved for acne vulgaris infections in acne vulgaris it is approved this is another tetracycline and the third tetracycline is irava cycline irava cycline and this is approved for intra abdominal infections complicated intra abdominal infections we have formed a new antimicrobial which is irava cycline so these are the three new tetracyclines which have been approved omega cycline omega cycline sare cycling and irava cycling